Welcome everyone to the K-12 online conference. Our strand today will be focusing on open learning. The title of this particular session is called Any Device Will Do – Best Practices of BYOD Implementation. I am your virtual presenter, Naomi Harm, coming to you live from Brownsville, Minnesota. I am a one-to-one -one mobile learning specialist, a Google Certified Teacher, a National Intel Senior Trainer for Intel Education, and well known for providing international technology keynote speaking across the nation. The focus of our learning today is to provide best practices of BYOD implementation strategies. We will also share dynamic resources to support student-centered learning, digital design, and student voice with choice. I'm also going to challenge you as an educator to think differently about your instructional delivery and approaches. You will also expand your educator and administrator digital toolbox of resources to energize the mobile learning environment. We will also infuse ongoing mobile student assessment strategies to ensure all students are making meaningful learning gains. Now you may be asking, what is BYOD, or sometimes it's associated with a T or an L? Well, the acronym means Bring Your Own Device. When it is supplemented with a T or an L, the T stands for technology, the L stands for learning, and sometimes individuals will use L for a laptop. But it is, is allowing students to bring their own learning tool of choice to school to effectively collaborate with their peers, engage in meaningful content learning experiences, create, design, and publish their new documented learning. Why BYOD, you may be asking? Well, it truly makes sense because it meets the needs of each and every one of our children. It offers the opportunity to provide a personalized learning environment for each student. It's highly customizable to meet the differentiated learning environment and the activities outlined by a teacher. The ease of navigation. When students can bring in and use their own device, there's a minimal learning curve for technical assistance. Engagement and motivation are a critical factor here. It empowers student ownership and to value their learning. The social connectivity is highly important for the teacher and also our students. When students are engaged in the social aspect of face-to-face -face dialogue, but also when they can blend that instruction as well through facilitated discussions and reflections, our kids feel that they own their learning, they're empowered to showcase what they know, and they feel that their learning style is valued in the classroom. Are your students career and or college ready? That is the question we should be asking ourselves every single day. In order for our students to be self-directed and motivated learners, they need the tools of choice to assist with their information research, their critical thinking, problem solving, and ongoing reflection to make real-world connections. These same learning tools, whether they are a tablet, a laptop, a smartphone, are the same tools of choice in the business industry and within our university settings that our adult learners use and utilize for success. Are you ready and prepared as an educator or an administrator? You may be asking yourself right now, how do I as an educator or an administrator prepare for this new BYOD learning adventure? And how do I know that these BYOD learning opportunities are truly impacting each and every one of my students? Reality is, teaching and learning in a BYOD mobile environment does take work. 
an educator needs to be highly organized with their content, their preparation, and the delivery while being consistent and structured with their classroom management style and delivery. Most teachers that venture into a BYOD teaching and learning environment love the new technology challenges and the teaching rewards of the design time for creating compelling lessons and assignments with their colleagues to finally meet their students' individualized learning needs and interests. This new type of empowered teaching and learning for educators allows them to truly take ownership in creating new and inspiring learning activities. It adds so much energy and life to stagnant lessons and especially flourishes more meaningful and social connections and critical conversations between their students. The above resources listed will guide you with getting started with designing compelling lessons and assignments for your students. All resources will be shared with you once again in my resources cited section at the end of this webinar and as an e-handout. Effective and collaborative communication are the most critical factors that will impact a BYOD implementation. Effective and seamless collaboration and communication with your IT and administration teams is key. This will ensure that you have the correct AU AIPs. Yes, I said it. It's a new acronym. AU AIPs. This stands for the Acceptable Use and Academic Integrity Policies in place to support the deployment of a robust wireless infrastructure while maintaining the academic integrity, the safety, and ethical use of our information seeking students. I am now going to share with you a seven-step approach to BYOD implementation success. The seven steps will include what's your purpose, classroom management, mobile ongoing assessments, digital citizenship, collaborative learning centers, student choice, voice, and student leadership, and how to create compelling lessons and assignments to engage all learners. What is your purpose of implementing a BYOD program in your classroom or school district? What standards are you hoping to meet and what targeted learning outcomes will your students obtain? Starting with the end in mind is essential to stay focused within a BYOD implementation and to document a student's professional academic growth. What is classroom management and what does it look like in a BYOD classroom? Well, classroom management is all the things that a teacher does to organize a student's workflow to support a highly engaged and an effective community of learners environment. This can include the learning and design space, the time frame and transitions, and the hands-on activities and the content flow of the materials so that the facilitated delivery of instruction is highly collaborative and effective. Two major goals of an effective classroom management in a BYOD classroom include the following. It must foster student involvement and cooperation in all classroom activities. It must also establish a productive and a respectable working environment for all learners. How do you know your BYOD program is working and students are making greater professional gains? Ongoing and continuous mobile assessments are needed to provide students with immediate feedback. This is essential for student and teacher growth and documentation for learning. 
varied assessments are just as critical to meet the diverse learning styles of all of your students. Whether it be through an app, an online portal, a paper and pencil quick write, intro or exit tickets through QR codes, or utilizing mobile walkthroughs through assessments in the form of a Google form or a survey. These authentic assessments are the tools to validate professional and personal growth for all of your learners. Here are a few examples to provide immediate feedback and quick assessments to document student learning in your classroom within your BYOD implementation. I especially like Google Docs. They're highly collaborative. It also provides quick and immediate feedback and assessment for kids to reflect on their learning through quick writes or an e-journal. I especially like the presentation component of Google Apps. I can have up to 10 students at one time creating, collaborating, designing, producing, and publishing a highly effective presentation to showcase their new learning. I especially like Google Forms. This particular tool will allow me to help and assist with my workflow for collecting digital assignments, but for also my mobile walkthroughs as I work through collaborative workstations with my students. I can set up the form aligned to the content standards that I will be evaluating for the day as a simple quick checklist. I can also quickly gather summary results as a collection of data sets from my observations. Another online mobile literacy assessment portal that I use quite frequently is called Infuse Learning. Infuse Learning is an online website where I can incorporate visual literacy prompts through primary resources, multiple choice questions, and short reflective questions. It gathers that information instantly so I can see where the growth has occurred for each of my students or if there has been a slight setback. It also provides immediate feedback to my students so they can see their new gained skills or what they need to focus on to continue to study to improve their personal or professional growth. Another mobile assessment tool that our students really enjoy is called Socrative. Socrative is an online website, but it is also an Android, an iOS, and a Windows app. It is very teacher friendly. As a teacher, I can collect instant assessments on my students right on the fly. It allows me also to set up multiple choice, true, false, short answers, intro and exit tickets, and to provide an instant poll to gauge on the student's learning for the day. I can also set it up as a speed race, and I can offer that as a review of content as a collaborative setting or a competition as a team setting. Digital citizenship is very important to the success of a BYOD implementation. It's very important for our teachers to model and the appropriate continuous use of digital citizenship skills. This is a lifelong skill for our teachers and students to work towards. A great online site that really is effective and to help our teachers find success with modeling these skills in the classroom is called Common Sense Media. The free scope and sequence materials are designed to empower students to think critically, behave safely, and participate responsibly in our digital world. You can use the interactive scope and sequence to find lessons that are just right for your classroom. There are also cross-curricular activities that spiral to address digital literacy and citizenship topics in an age-appropriate way. You can also browse by grade level or click a category to highlight lessons that address a certain topic. There also is a wonderful collection of a student video library. 
It has more than 20 videos that are each about two to four minutes in length. You can also use them in conjunction with the corresponding lesson plans or use them to jumpstart a conversation with your students. Collaborative learning centers are critical to the BYOD implementation, so students can work within critical thinking and design teams. The social aspect to actively listen and share new ideas, pose questions, and gain new critical insights to extend learning possibilities for all students is essential. My motto is, together we are better. And just like your students, no one can know everything, so let's spread the wealth and build capacity of new knowledge through collaborative learning and literacy centers while building a stronger, culturally accepting community of learners. To ensure your collaborative learning and literacy centers are highly effective and engaging, one must find the right online tools and portals to make sure that our students are set up for success. One of the online portals that I highly recommend is called Guru Learning. Guru Learning is an online blended learning content model that a teacher can build robust lessons and online resources to engage, differentiate, extend, and enrich learning for all of your students. Teachers once again can build quality literacy center activities around content that they have created or online content that they can, can connect within this portal. It can be used to eas easily differentiate instruction, to challenge students through enriched learning experiences, and to engage even your most reluctant learner with high quality and interactive visual and video content. Another great online tool is called Blendspace. Blendspace is similar but different than Guru Learning to really complement your collaborative learning spaces and centers for your children. Once a teacher has set up an online account, she or he can easily drag and drop content online to the digital canvas to build rich content and learning experiences for your students. It very much complements a thematic unit approach to learning. The example above that I have captured to showcase is from Rafans Davis on her BYOD in her secondary math classroom. Student choice, voice, and leadership are essential attributes for a successful BYOD program. Across the nation, students are adapting emergent technologies and new and innovative ways for learning. As part of the National Speak Up Day survey project from 2002, known as Project Tomorrow, the National Education Nonprofit Organization, students are asked to predict what school would be like by the year 2015 or 2017. What would going to school be like? Would learning be different? What would be the role of the teacher? The provided link above will offer you prime examples of needs and learning outcomes students have requested of how they have stated how they learn best. BYOD is an essential strategy and a strong contender that most students have already identified as an opportunity for them to learn best by 2015. A great student choice activity is known as the differentiator. It is an online tool. It also works with any device. The learning outcomes are highly creative, dynamic, and engaging. This activity will lead to on-task and motivational behavior in your classroom by optimizing choice of a student digital project. But what's most important here, it's aligned to content of Bloom's Taxonomy 
and a standards alignment to create compelling assignments and lessons. I have many teachers utilizing this tool to actually offer very activities with student teams and groups. You'll have the opportunity that when this is created that students have a choice of working as a singleton or they can work as dynamic duos, transformative trios, or within quads to create a dynamic digital project to showcase their new gain skills and their new learning. I have already mentioned this several times throughout this webinar presentation that a teacher by designing, creating, and delivering compelling lessons and assignments will aid to the success of a BYOD successful implementation. Most teachers that venture into a BYOD teaching and learning environment love the new technology challenges and the teaching rewards of the design time for creating compelling lessons and assignments with their colleagues to finally meet their students individualized learning needs and interest. This new type of empowered teaching and learning for educators allows them to truly take ownership in creating new and inspiring activities. It adds so much energy and life to stagnant lessons and especially flourishes more meaningful and social connections and conversations between their students. I am now going to provide you with several tools of choice that will complement your BYOD program. Why I'm offering these many different tools is because not every tool will meet your students' needs or their type of learning tool that they've brought in. So this first example is called DNA, Design Neutral Activities. Very creative name, I thought. But as part of this, it's basically choosing the best app to get the job done. The DNA means again, design neutral meaning it doesn't matter if a child brings in a tablet, if he brings in a netbook, if he brings in a laptop, or he brings in a smartphone, there is a tool of choice to allow for maximizing and offering the accessibility to the learning environment. Many different online portals right now will offer the online portal that is compatible with an app, whether it's a Windows app, an iOS, or an Android app, but they also have that online site which is really nice that if a student doesn't have such as a smartphone that's compatible with any of those apps, but the online portal through a website will work best. So this tool of choice I'd like to share with you, it gives, it gives great opportunity for students to be highly creative, to be able to design, to construct, and to publish their new knowledge. So venture to this site. I've included the web link there that you can get to this aligned PDF to start that digital creation project in your classroom through your creative learning centers with your students. Another great online tool that is for reflection and digital creation is called Padlet. Padlet is an interactive visual and reflective post-it board. Individually, or collaborative grouping to be designed to create a dynamic digital projects for each of your students. I know I mentioned this earlier, but as part of a great solution for your BYOD implementation is to utilize and maximize the online resources of Google Apps. Whether it is collaborative docs, presentations, spreadsheets, or Chrome apps and extensions, Google Apps for Education is your one-stop shop for a highly effective online collaborative learning environment to support a BYOD implementation and for immediate assessment to document student growth. Thank you for viewing my K-12 online conference presentation today of any device will do, BYOD Best Practice Implementations. Please feel free to contact me anytime through the following contact information from above to continue the conversation on the topic of BYOD. As promised, here are my resources cited page for a successful BYOD implementation. 
These resources will also be provided through an e-handout through the provided link on the slide. Thank you once again for your time and dedication to grow professionally through the 2013 K-12 online conference this year.